Good evening. This is Steakhouse. My name is Thomas. How can I help you? Hey, Thomas. Um, I need to book a table this Friday. A party of one. <laughs> party of one uh, for this coming Friday? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, it's Phil. Phil? With a P. <laughs> I-, I didn't know there was another way to spell that. <laughs> I-, I don't know. It just sounds like an F, so I just, sometimes I want to clarify. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Phil, what time were you thinking on Friday? Uh, like 6 p.m.? At least that, that's my understanding of when the festivities are supposed to begin. The festivities? Yeah. I heard there's supposed to be like a surprise proposal at your restaurant around that time. Oh. With a woman named Shireen. So, uh, so you're a part of that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I was just hoping to get a table as close as possible, you know, facing the couple. Could we do that? Facing the, the couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should be able to do that. Bear with me a sec. Mm-hmm. And you are confirmed. Oh, all right. Um, do you have any other questions for me? Uh, yeah. Do you know if uh, they're planning on getting your famous red velvet cake? Uh, yep. It says it red velvet right here in the notes. Oh, oh God. <laughs> um, that was our thing. Uh, Bill? <laughs> yeah. Everything all right? We confirmed? <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Thomas? I guess. Uh, have you ever had your heart broken before? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what is going on? So, look, the woman who's getting proposed to, you know, Shireen, she's my ex. Oh, wow. And so it's, this has it's just been really hard on me. So I, know, I just think watching it happen will just be a really good thing. Oh, At least that's gosh. what my therapist says. She says... Are you sure about that? Well, she tells me it could be closure, you know? Um, I don't know if I can be part of your emotional journey. No, you don't so, have to be there. I can do it alone. That's, that's not what I mean. I, I have to say to you, I think it's best if we cancel your reservation. No. Why? Why? Yo. To be honest, you're a mess, man. And I also don't want this couple to, to be uncomfortable. It's their special day. You don't want to be the fly in their well, ointment. Look, I, I know that on the surface, it probably seems like it's going to be really uncomfortable, especially since she doesn't know I'm going to be there or anything. Oh, God. But look, look, I, I'm willing to clap. Dude. Okay, I will, I will clap when she commits to him. I have to be honest with you. I'm going to be straight up. I don't think they need any clapping from you, any disturbance no. from you. This- I have it all planned out. I'll watch her say yes, and then I'll take a few pics, you know, for the no. happy couple. No, 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 quick. no. And then I can go over to their table, and I'll hand her the love scrapbooks that we made. Phil, Phil, you're not going to do any of that. What you're going to do is you're going to stay home. I'm going to cancel your reservation. Well, what about the love scrapbook? I don't know anything about that, man. Well, I need to give them back to her so that she knows that our love is over. Holy <laughs> shit, man. This is worse than I thought. No, it's good. It's good. I'm going to I'm gonna give her the scrapbooks. No, 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 no. And then I'm going to say, there, there you go, Shireen. Do not do that. You can scrap these now. All our love scrapped. Phil, I'm going to need to stop you right there. If my boss finds out I have booked an ex next to a bride, my job is over. All right, I hear you what you're saying. So if, if I'm not going to be there, I'm at least going to leave the love scrapbooks with you. Oh, for <laughs> sake. And then if you bring out dessert with a candle on it afterwards, she can, you know, burn the scrapbook on the table. Phil. Again, closure. I need it. I, I apologize. I have a line forming right in front of me. I have to take care and, and seat. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe you could just do one more thing for me then. Can you just say I fell for this prank phone call? <laughs> Holy f- that way I can have closure on this, too. Dude, who are you? My name's actually Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. We're doing a phone tap on you, man. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm serious. No. It's a joke. It's a joke? Yeah, you can relax. Holy <laughs> <laughs> You can blame your boss, James. He's the one that set you up. James? Because he said that you just started, you're new at the restaurant, and he put oh in a fake God. proposal on the books to try and play a joke on you. <laughs> But just, can I at least please put the ring on the lobster claw? I think that's what I really need to finally move on. Phil, you're f***ed up. That's all I'm saying. That's what Shireen said. Oh, God.